pathway activity analysis, you can explore how the overall activity of canonical signaling pathways may be increased or decreased based on the upregulation or downregulation of differentially expressed genes or proteins in your dataset. The colors of the bars in the canonical pathway bar chart now indicate an activation z-score. Orange bars predict increased activity of the pathway, blue bars predict decreased activity, and gray bars are pathways that can't currently be scored for activity. Hovering over the pathway bars, you can see that for these West Nile virus infected human macrophages, that the interferon signaling pathway has a significant z-score of 3.7, which indicates that the pathway is likely activated. In the table below, you can see there is a new column that displays the expected expression direction for genes if the pathway were activated. For example, there are a number of interferon-induced proteins that should be overexpressed if the pathway were activated, and indeed they are upregulated in the data set. The expected direction for genes and signaling pathways like this one are pre-calculated and used to determine a z-score against your data set. To see the expected pattern, just open the pathway. Initially, it shows the overlay of your expression data as it always has. But if you click the A key on your keyboard, it will toggle to the expected pattern. By toggling back and forth, you can see the strong similarity between the expected pattern and the pattern in the data set, and that's why this pathway received a high positive z-score. Some signaling pathways don't have a clearly definable activated state. Those pathways will have gray bars. Blue bars indicate pathways predicted to be inhibited, like the PPAR signaling pathway. So that is a new pathway activity analysis in IPA. We hope it will help you get more out of pathway analysis by predicting pathway activation or inhibition.